everyone, it's Janine. and welcome back to my channel, The Story Ain't Over. So today I'm coming to you with a kind of chill reading vlog. This might continue over a couple days, I'm not sure yet, but currently it is Tuesday, February 12th, and it is, I think, 12... 25 and so I just filmed a bunch of videos which I'm super excited about there's a book haul There's a manga haul and then there's a king of scars review slash book talk which will be coming to you Probably before this vlog goes up. So please look forward to those. I have a breath at school right now So I have some time to actually read which I'm super excited about and a lot of you also requested a vlog So here I am doing a vlog for you, but yes so I am filming in front of my beautiful tapestry. It's like um, a tapestry of like star signs and like it's like a star map thing. And I thought it was really cool. And I got it on sale at I think Society6. So I love tapestries and I wanted like a new backgroundy thing. So I got this and it's cute and I like it. Let me know if you like it. But yes, let's just get on to the books that I'm reading. So I have three here. I mentioned them in my recent book haul and my recent manga haul. So the first one is Gilded Dwarfs by Roshni Chakshi. I also mentioned this in my last reading vlog because I said I would try and read it and then I didn't get around to it because I was reading, I think, Siege and Storm and trying to finish the Grisha trilogy before King of Scars came out. So I didn't actually start this that day, but I have started it now. I started it last night and I've gotten, I think, about 30 pages in and I already love it, guys. Like, it's really good and I just love the writing style. Like, Roshni Chakshi's writing style has improved so much and, like, her descriptions are just so lush and I really think it suits this story because it, like, takes place in Paris in the 19th century. And really well done descriptions of, like, food as well. Like, one character, Lila, she's Indian, which I absolutely love. Like, I'm not Indian, I'm Sri Lankan, but she's South Asian so that was just really nice to see and she bakes and the description of her like baking and like her the food that she was making was just like so good and like I it made me so hungry so I'm really excited about reading this so I'm going to try and read a bunch more of this it's not super long I think it's yeah it's like 370 pages which is a lot shorter than King of Scars was. So I'm excited about reading this and I've just heard some really great things about this and also gives me like Six of Crows vibes. So I just think it's gonna be go right. The next one, high priority on this list, is Aoharu Ride, which is volume one by Ayu Saki Saka. And this is one of the picks, the February picks for the More Manga Please book club. I already mentioned this in my manga haul. So I'm planning to read this in one go today and just get it out of the way. But this is basically just like a cute contemporary read. And so I'm just really Really excited about it. I've also heard some pretty good things about it. So here's hoping it's good. Alright, and then the next book that I'm hoping to read a little bit during this reading vlog, whether it, you know, ends today or continues during the week slash weekend. But this is The Fork, the Witch, and the Worm, um, Tales from Algasia by Christopher Paolini. These are a bunch of stories set after the end of the uh, inheritance cycle. I talked about in my book haul how I'm really excited about reading this and just, you know, getting to be back in this world. And especially because there's just so many unanswered questions at the end of that series. So I'm hoping some of them get answered in this. So I'm hoping I can read like maybe a chapter or two of this in between Gilded Wolves and Alhara Ride. I'm definitely gonna get through Alhara Ride today and read more of Gilded Wolves and then maybe during the week I'll like get to more of each of them. Hopefully I can edit my book haul, my manga haul, and my King of Scars review and also my 2k Q&A um, so I can get those all out to you soon. I was just away for a bit and then I had some school things and so haven't been able to upload in like the past like week and a half slash two weeks so I just really want to get a video up. This is the tapestry in all its beautiful glory next to my bookshelf. It's not gonna stay there permanently I just put it there for like backgrounding but yeah. It's cute. Also, here's another shot of my messy, messy desk. As always. Some things never change. <laughs>
I just read the like prologue chapter of Our Horror Ride and it was super cute and kind of sad. Uh, the main characters kind of like split up after meeting and kind of liking each other and I'm assuming the rest of the book follows them when they're older which I'm really interested by. I love kind of that nostalgic kind of like regret aspect of some mangas and so I'm really excited to see where this goes but so far I'm really liking it. It's leading me home. It's leading me home. It's coming down. It's leading me home. Hello, friends. Okay, so I just finished reading the first volume of Our Ride, and it was so cute, and it was adorable, and I really like the main couple. So they start out in middle school, like knowing each other and then having kind of a crush on each other. And then he ends up like moving away and like suddenly transferring schools and she doesn't know why. And they meet again in high school in their first year. And it like zooms through their first year. And then at the end of this volume, they're entering their second year of high school. But it was just super, super cute. I really liked the main characters, like just their personality. They start out really timid in the first kind of chapter, the prologue bit when they're in middle school. But when they reach the high school bit, they're so like funny and like very strong characters, like characters with strong personalities. And it's just funny seeing them interact and it seems really cute. So I really, really enjoyed it. I definitely want to continue with the series. So I don't know if I'll be buying the next volumes or borrowing them from the library, but definitely gonna continue. It was just so cute. Oh my God, definitely recommend this. If you guys are thinking of picking up a cute shoujo rom com -y manga. Also, I just love the guy in, in the manga. He's just so cute. Hello everyone! So it is currently Wednesday, February 13th. It's 11.42 a.m. So I decided that since I'm not going to school today because I there's another snow day and there's basically no point in me going out to school and my prof can't class. So I decided that I would reorganize my bookshelves here. So I just cleaned up my whole room and my desk. Look at it, it's so clean. I just have some random things on it. So I have a few stacks of books here. These are for a class I'm taking. And then I have my two shelves over here. So the one on the left here is a Billy bookcase. I have had it for a really long time, since around the time I was born. And then this one is a bookshelf that my dad made for me a long while ago. Um, I don't even remember when. So as you can tell, <laughs> there's like a whole ton of books just like scattered all around here and they need space. So I wanted to reorganize and I also have another stack of books here. A bunch of these are from my manga haul that you might have seen go up recently. There's my Hunger Games poster. And then here is my other bookshelf, which I got actually in the past year. And this holds a lot of my mangas and then like some of my music albums. So like mostly shiny and other albums and then some folders and things and a hard drive at the bottom. So I'm hoping to reorganize this one too, because as you can see, I'm running out of space. So I started like double stacking and it looks really ugly and makes me really sad. So yes. I reorganized these bookshelves, uh, I think, last year or the year before. I do have a video up for that, so you can go check that out. So if you want to see just like, I think, five minutes of me just reorganizing to music, go watch that. So I'm going to put on some music and pull down all these books, and then I... What I want to do mainly with this reorganization is pull down all of my unread books and pull down all the books that I don't really want to keep anymore. I have a bunch of books that I got like for school in like the past four years at university that I had to buy and some of them I don't really want anymore. So I'm thinking of either donating them or finding a new home for them or else I'll see if I can just put them into storage in my basement for the time being and then later figure out what I'm going to do with them later on. So that is the plan today. I think I'm going to start by pulling down all my unread books because I want to build like a full TBR of all of my physical unread books so that I can like get through them because I feel like they're just nagging in the back of my brain knowing that I have them and I haven't read them and then I keep borrowing things from the library or getting new things. So, you know, I'm going to Marie Kondo this shit. Okay, cool. It's cold for a summer night I text you I'm sorry I don't mean to bother But figured I gotta try 
And you say you're busy, but I don't believe you. It's keeping me up at night. The way my emotions keep turning around, can keep it inside. No. Uh. Here we go, we go, we go, and let the roller coaster ride begin. Here we go. Take a hint, now nah, I'm fine Cause I wanna be loved by you, 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 you. I wanna be loved by you, 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 you. Cause I wanna be loved by you, 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 you. I wanna be loved by you, 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 you. I wanna be loved by you, 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 you. I wanna be loved by you, 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 you. Cause I wanna be loved by you, 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 you. I wanna be loved by you, 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 you. Cause I wanna be loved by you. Wish I was a winner, she still wears my heart on her shoulder. Oh man, that's killer. She knew I had nothing left to lose and everything to prove. I just wanna be loved by you. Here we go, we go, we go, and let the roller coaster ride begin. Cause I wanna be loved by you. Okay guys, I ravaged my bookcases and now they are semi-empty, especially like down here. And especially this shelf, it's practically empty because I do remember putting a lot of unread books on there. But here is the pile of unread books. Oh my gosh. A bunch of these I remember getting from Book Outlet on Bargain, like especially like this stack from Homeland Down and like some other ones over here were bargain books. Other ones I've gotten as gifts. Other ones are like, you know, those three for ten classic deals, like this one. I know, I have not read The Night Circus. I started it a while ago and then I never got around to finishing it. But it was really good from what I like read so far, but yeah, gotta finish that. I'm also a horrible person, I have not finished The Book Thief. I really, really enjoyed it and it was just you know, so wonderfully told, especially because it's narrated by death, and I thought that was so cool. But, you know, I just never got around to finishing it. Ooh, this is another one that I really want to read sometime soon. I meant to read it, like, around Halloween time, but never got around to it. Same with Life Like here. This is one of my, like, highly anticipated releases of 2018, and then I never actually read it. And I even, like, specially ordered the Australian edition because I really like this quote on the front. Yeah. These are more books that I got on Bargain from Book Outlet. This one I got in a uh, page habit box. Not in a box, but like it was an add-on. I had the choice of adding on like a fantasy book. And so this is the one that came and I honestly could not care less about it. So I'm probably going to unhaul that one. And it even came with like annotations too. So I kind of feel bad, but like I'm not going to read it. Let's see. I definitely want to finish Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. Um, I just haven't gotten around to it. I did start Hollow City. My camera is having issues focusing, but over here, let's see. Oh, this I started reading. I didn't get around to finishing it, but it's like the novelization of the movie, the anime movie, Your Name. I absolutely love this movie. It's like my favorite thing in the world. So I will definitely get around to this eventually. This is a book by Humble the Poet. It's like a self-help book. And um, he's actually a friend of Superwoman, the YouTuber. And I just saw this and I like read through like a little bits of it and I thought it was cool so I picked it up but I just haven't gotten around to reading it. I do want to read more like self-help non-fiction books so maybe I will pick this up soon. These top two, Salt to the Sea and Female Species, I've heard so many good things about them and I just, I need to read them. I got these also from Book Outlet. This one and this one I got in page habit boxes so they are annotated. Yeah, bargained. This one I got for a sci-fi class and I never ended up reading it, but I've heard so many good things about it. It's a sci-fi book. Princess Bride, love the movie, need to read the book. This, I just got on a whim. Children of Blood and Bone, one of the most hyped books. And I know, like, I haven't read it yet. I think I read a couple chapters and then I just never ended up like going further. So I need to do that. Name of the Wind, another super hyped book. It's gotten really good reviews from people that I know, people online and I've been meaning to read it, so I will do that soon. 
more classics that I've been meaning to read. Invictus I started and I just had so much trouble getting through it and then I think I kind of just DNF'd it. Same with Furyborn, I got started with it and was enjoying it a bit and then suddenly just stopped liking it and didn't want to continue so DNF that one. Same with Want, started it, really wanted to like it, thought it was going to be great and then DNF'd it. Uh, but I really want to come back to this one and Invictus. Furyborn I'm still unsure about. Queen of Air and Darkness. <laughs> I pre-ordered this, still have not read it, came out in December. We'll see how that goes. I will get to it eventually. Um, and then I have Truth Witch here, which I got because I love Susan Dennard and I actually really liked her original trilogy, her Strange, Something Strange and Deadly series, but then I never like got around to reading Truth Witch. And then Conjuring of Light. Okay, I have an issue with the Darker Shade of Magic series. Everyone loves it, but like I just, it took me a while to get through like both of the first books, even though I really enjoyed it and I liked the characters and everything, I just felt like for most of the book in, like, for both of them, nothing really happens. So in that way, like, the plot kind of drags. And so I got through, I think, like, 80 pages of A Conjuring of Light and nothing has happened yet. Like, nothing significant. So I just kind of stopped reading it, but I will pick it up. I definitely intend to finish that series because I love V. Schwab. And then more Rick Riordan at the top here, the Trials of Apollo series. I love the first one, so I really need to get around to reading these two. Maybe I'll read them when the next one comes out or maybe just wait for, like, all of them to come out and then binge read. Alex Approximately, it's a YA contemporary, been meaning to read that, got her on bargain. How to Be a Boss by Lily Singh. I actually got through, I think, more than half of it. I just haven't gotten around to like finishing it, but I was really enjoying it. She has some really interesting insights and um, talks about her life and I thought it was cool. The Diviners, this is actually a copy that I got from a library sale and it's actually kind of crusty and gross. So I think I might get rid of it and just use my ebook copy to read it. I, I'm still currently reading it, but I'm still enjoying it. And then Marie Lu's Young Elites trilogy. I read the first one when it came out and then I never finished the series. And then down here, Dark Days Club is one that I heard about the concept and it just seemed like Buffy in like historical world and I just thought that that was amazing and I wanted it and then I never I got it from book outlet and then I never ended up reading it but anyways I just want to stack up all my unread books in like one location and not keep them on the shelves so that like I can only put them on the shelves when I'm done reading them so that is the plan whether I have room to stack them up like that is another question but we'll see okay now I think I'm gonna go through the whole set of books uh, and pull off ones that I've read that I want to get rid of and then see if I can make space that way. And then maybe, I don't know, maybe I'll dedicate some shelves to unread books or maybe I'll like stick them all in this little corner here. There's a lot on your skin Pain and God on your feet If you're gonna lean into me Make sure you feel the heat You can take what you want when you take it from me I'll make sure that you fall upon the floor Down to your knees I'm not betting on a miracle To give me peace I'm not asking for a miracle Just you and me Okay, so this is a stack of books that I'm planning to get rid of. I'm going to either donate them or find them a new home. And then I also have a bag of books over here. They're all just arcs that I'm going to get rid of. And then here is my pile of TBR books. There's a lot. So I organized it as these ones as like complete series or like series that I need to finish. And then those ones are all one-offs. These ones in the front are ones that I want to get to like sooner rather than later. And then these ones are kind of longer one-offs or non-fiction ones. Other things that I'm going to get to sooner rather than later. So the ones in the back are the ones that like I won't get to for a while. So that's how it's going. And hopefully I can 
get through them one by one, but I just like having them visually down here so that I know I haven't read these and I can actually pick away at them because I feel like if they're just scattered around my bookshelves then I never actually get around to reading them. I also reorganized the shelves over here. So up here is some nonfiction and self-help things, some of my sister's books, some books for school, and then my manga, my shoujo mangas. All over here, my like deep, beautiful mangas. And then here's more of like my action-y ones, my shonen ones. And then I have like uh, a couple volumes of like random ones. And then I reorganized my shelves over here. They're looking pretty. I didn't do much, I didn't move a lot. This isn't like the, my reorganization the year before last where like I took everything off and then redid it. I just kind of reorganized things slightly so I had a lot piled up here and I just redid that. So now all the Marie Lou is kind of together except for the unread ones. Um, I moved all of the V.E. Schwab up here and same with the Pierce Brown so that I can make more room over here and move this down because this is one of my favorite series. Um, put in my King of Scars travel mug, my two King of Scars copies, and then all my Lee Bardugo Grishaverse stuff. And then over here is just more like sci-fi, fantasy, other series that I loved. And then down here is mostly like contemporary. I have consistently kept this shelf the same. Like it's always the same books on the shelf. Like there is like Raven Boys and like the Afterlife of Holly Chase. Like some of these have magic in them, but mostly they're overall pretty contemporary. And then at the bottom is just a bunch of classics and books I've read for school. Same with the bottom shelf here. Over here, like this shelf is mostly like older books that I read when I was younger. Also books I don't really like as much. And then up here is just anything that would fit in this small shelf because it's actually really tiny. So these are all just books from like when I was a kid. Up here is my Shadowhunters stuff. And then up here is my Rick Riordan and uh, Inheritance Cycle, all of that. And then also Rashni Chakshi's Arusha because it kind of fits with the Rick Riordan. And then these two I had on a different shelf before, but they just happened to fit here. So I stuck them there. I read them a really long time ago. I remember enjoying them, but like I'm not super crazy about them. And then up here is, a, once again, a really tiny shelf. So I just put whatever fits here. <laughs> George R.R. R. Martin, I actually haven't read uh, from book two onwards of The Song of Ice and Fire, but it's too lazy to put them on my TBR because I probably won't read them, but they just look pretty up there. So I'm gonna leave them. Some of my faves up here, Bridge Terabithia. House Moving Castle, Perks of Being a Wallflower, Ocean at the End of the Lane, Stardust, my older Harry Potter uh, collection. So these are all first editions. And then these are the new ones that uh, my sisters and I got so that we could read them more. So I'm basically done the unhaul and reorganizing. And now I think I'm just going to take a break and read for a bit. I think I'm going to either read Gilded Wolves or else try reading one of the mangas that I recently hauled. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. I changed into a comfier top and I just have some stuff to clean up in my room. But after that, I'm gonna be reading and it's gonna be a good time. Hello friends. Okay, so I changed my mind. I put my clothes back on and I am going to the bookstore to go get myself uh, the first volume of A Silent Voice, which is one of the February picks for the More Manga Please book club, which is run by Ashley from Ashley Out Page. I was originally gonna get it from the library, but there was a bit of a hold on it and I don't really wanna wait and I have the time. I was like, and I kinda wanna go to the bookstore. So here we are, I'm in the car, I'm gonna go drive to the bookstore near me and um, get it, yeah. So ask if I should go or I should stay. In the moment of doubt. Put your hand on the flame When you need to remind yourself That you could feel the same I'm not betting on a miracle To give me peace Friends, 
okay so i'm driving uh back home i went to the bookstore and i got the first and second volume of a silent voice but uh i couldn't really film because there was actually a lot more people on this snow day than i thought there would be at the bookstore um so i'm sorry if the clips turn out weird so i'm heading home now i was gonna get starbucks but i decided not to because i don't really need the sugar and I just need coffee so I can make that at home. But I'm gonna go home and I think I'm gonna probably read the first volume of A Silent Voice and pretty much just make myself set for the February picks for more manga please. And then maybe I'll read a little bit more of Gilded Wolves. Okay, so yeah, see you back at home. Hello friends, okay, so I just got back from the bookstore and I will show you my haul. I should have just waited to haul my mangas, like do the whole manga haul because I ended up buying these. Anyways, so yes, volume one and volume two, I'm gonna try and read this before the end of the day. I'm feeling kind of sleepy right now, so I made myself a coffee and I'm gonna drink that and do some journaling and maybe edit to my King of Scars book talk, which isn't that long, surprisingly, but it's gonna take some time. So maybe I'll do a little bit of that just to wake myself up and then I will read a silent voice. So I just finished editing my King of Scars book talk. I have some mixed feelings about this book, so you can catch them all in that book talk. It's probably gonna be up before this vlog is, so go check that out. I just finished editing that. There was a lot of me rambling, so I had to cut a lot of that out, but it all worked out in the end. But it is getting a bit dark out right now, and uh, I'm feeling kind of tired. So I think this is gonna be the last clip of me talking to you in this vlog, and the rest I'll just put in some clips of me reading, because I do still need to read a silent voice. I'm just gonna close out the vlog here. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. A lot of you requested another vlog after my last one, which was like one of the first ones that I've done. So I'm glad that you guys really enjoyed that one and I hope that this one was fun-ish. But yes, I really enjoyed reading Al Haru Ride for the More Manga Please book club and I'm sure I'm gonna love A Silent Voice as well. I did really enjoy the movie. It's just that like it fell short in some way for me. So I'm hoping I get more out of the manga and based on everyone's comments, comments on my manga haul already, I can tell that it's gonna be better than the movie. So here's hoping it is. I will probably do another vlog sometime soon so you can look forward to that, but otherwise there will always be more videos. So thank you so, so much for watching and please remember that the story ain't over. Bye. Bye.